Hi, Kevin here. For dinner tonight, we're fixing spinach stuffed chicken breasts. And the first thing you will need is the spinach. So what I have here is one 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach that I thawed in the microwave for about four minutes. And of course we have to drain the spinach. So let me show you how to do that. Zoom you in a little. Yeah, this was four minutes on high in the microwave. So I have a flour set cloth here. You could use, you know, any kitchen towel. And then pour the spinach into the towel. And then you want to get as much of the water out of the spinach as possible. So just squeeze the towel and you will see a lot of water will come out. Yeah, I like using these flower sack cloths because you can throw them in the washing machine and bleach them. All right, look at all the water that came out of this. Then pour the spinach into a bowl. Just break it up with your hands. And now to the spinach, I'm going to add this is about a third cup of sun-dried tomatoes that I roughly chopped. Also going to add, let's see, some salt. And some grinds of black pepper. Yeah, what we're doing here is making the filling for the chicken. And I also want to add some garlic powder. Well, about a half teaspoon or so. And some onion powder. Again, about a half teaspoon. Although there are no exact measurements for these seasonings. So if you like garlic, add a lot of garlic powder. If you like onion, Add a lot of onion powder. I'm also going to add some garlic paste because I really love garlic. And if you don't have garlic paste, you could use uh, minced fresh garlic, like two cloves. Two teaspoons of garlic paste is equal to two fresh cloves of garlic. All right, then I'm going to give this a mix just with my hands. Then I want to add some cheese. And you want to use a good melty cheese. So I'm going to use shredded Monterey Jack cheese. It melts really well. This is about a cup and a half. And just mix all of this together. Now, there are probably a million different ways to make stuffed chicken breasts. I know some people use broccoli florets and cream cheese for the filling, but I really like it with spinach and sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, we're going to mix here. So now, let's, we have to prepare the chicken. All right, here's the chicken. And I forgot to tell you that my oven is preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I've washed my hands, so before I handle the chicken, I want to prepare the seasoning mixture. And that will be about a half teaspoon of kosher salt and 
some black pepper, and some garlic powder once again. Just shy of a half teaspoon. Some onion powder. A little less than a half teaspoon. This filling that I made is actually enough for four chicken breasts, but it's only me for dinner tonight, so I'm going to do two of the breasts, and I'll save one for lunch tomorrow. All right, and I want to add some paprika to this little spice mixture. It's probably a quarter teaspoon. And then just give this a mix. Just tickle it with your finger. The paprika is going to give the chicken breasts a nice color. Okay, on to the chicken. So what you want to do is slice the chicken in such a way that you create a pocket for the filling. And the way I do it is hold the chicken this way, just hold it on its end, and then slice, and you do not want to slice all the way through, here. There. Then you have a nice opening to receive the filling. Okay, let me season this up. And the first thing I'm going to do is transfer the chicken to a baking sheet. And I did, of course, dry the chicken before I cut into it. You don't want to deal with wet chicken here. Now, I took some of the... Here, let me use this. I took some of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes and I put that in a little bowl over here. So I'm going to pour some of the oil on top. You could use just olive oil here. Rub that over. I get some on the underside as well. And then take the seasoning mixture and put that on top. I'm going to save some of this mixture for some additional chicken that I will make in a day or two, and then just rub that in. And I want to add a little more paprika. So hold on, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay, my hands are clean. And, <clears throat> and again, this filling makes enough for four chicken breasts. I'm only going to use half of it, so I'm going to put half in a bowl over here. This is a fabulous filling, by the way. You could use it uh, for stuffed mushrooms. You could also use it uh, for an omelet. Okay. Now, going to fill the chicken. And there's my oven. It has achieved 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Just put the filling into the pocket. Pack it down. And you don't have to secure the chicken with toothpicks. Thank goodness. So this is what it looks like. Do the other one. And 
just press it in. And then turn the chicken over on its side. All right. These are ready for the oven. Okay, I'm going to put these in the 375 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until an instant read thermometer reads 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, going to make a quick sauce for the chicken. And after all of that, I forgot to add the additional paprika and I did wash my hands yet again. Yeah, that will do it. Get into the oven they go, then we'll make the sauce. All right, to make the sauce, I have a saucepan over medium heat. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. Also going to lower the heat. And you need to add two tablespoons of regular all-purpose flour. You could use bread flour if that's what you have. And then just stir the two together till it's nice and bubbly. I'm using my silicone whisk here so that you don't have to hear the sound of metal on metal, which I know annoys a lot of people. Okay, then I'm going to add two cups of homemade chicken stock. And I did heat this chicken stock in the microwave just to get a head start here. And you want to stir this until it thickens, which it will do very quickly. Yeah, I think when you heat the liquid first, you don't end up with a bunch of lumps in your sauce or your gravy. Do you say sauce or gravy? All right, now I want to flavor this up a little. So I'm going to add, let's see, there was no salt in my homemade chicken stock. So I'm going to add just a pinch of salt a little black pepper, some garlic powder, and I think that will do it. I've just increased the heat because you want this to come to a boil. Okay, it's already getting thick. Now, of course, you could omit the sauce or the gravy. The stuffed chicken will be wonderful as is. It's just last time I made stuffed chicken, I really felt that, well, it needed a, some kind of sauce. Okay, this is thickening up. Yeah, I don't want it too thick. Let's have a look. This looks great. Just the right thickness. Okay. So off the heat. And I'm also heating up some sliced beets from a 15 ounce can. This is going to be my side dish. All right, we'll come back when the chicken is done. All right, the chicken is done. That was just 30 minutes. And now I want to test it with my digital thermometer. And you want to put this in the thickest part of the chicken. Yep, we are good. All right, I'm going to plate this up and then I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. All right, here's the dinner. Here are the beets. 
which I just seasoned simply with salt and pepper. Here's the gorgeous stuffed chicken breast. And then I'm going to add some of this beautiful gravy or sauce. Mm. Oh, it looks so good and it smells terrific, by the way. All right, time for a taste. Oh, and here's the leftover chicken, which if I don't eat it tonight, I will certainly have it for lunch tomorrow. All right, I already tasted of the chicken. It's fabulous. Cut another slice here. Look at this. Oh, this is a fabulous dinner. Bon appetit. Oh, this is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, the combination of Monterey Jack cheese with the spinach and with the seasonings, just exquisite. Another bite. Mm. Oh, you have to try this. Okay, my plate's a real mess now, but I wanted to tell you that even if you live alone, you can and should make this dish. It's just cheesy and spinachy and chickeny and saucy, wonderful. All right, I will post the list of ingredients in the description box below. And, and that's all. I hope you'll try this dish someday. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now. I'm back. I wanted to tell you that I will be eating both of these chicken breasts tonight because they're just so delicious. And then I'll make more of the chicken when Mr. Fox returns from New York City at the end of the week. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.